Diesen einen Fisch zu zählen, das ist keine Kunst. Aber bei den über 100.000 Kois den Überblick zu behalten, die hier in der Koi-Farm in Wiesentheit herumschwimmen, das ist gar nicht so einfach. Du erfährst heute alles über Zahlen und Maße. So, Camilla, yeah. what can we see here? Well, here you can see fish, fish and even more fish. But these are not your average fish. These fish are very special and very precious. And you're going to learn all about these fish today. You're going to get the chance to count some of the fish, to measure some of the fish, and even feed some fish. So, are we ready to go? Sure, yeah, let's go. Super. Okay, so we've already fed our smaller fish, and for that, we used this smaller food. Mm -hmm. And this is for the fish that are between 10 centimeters and 15 centimeters. Okay. But now, we need to feed bigger fish, so we need more food. So I have this big bag here, which has 15 kilograms of food inside. And Paulina, if you could open that bag for me. And this is for the fish that are 30 centimetres and longer. And the fish can actually grow to 1.2 metres or 120 centimetres. So, Verena, I give you the scoop. Yeah. There you go. And we'll put the container on the scales. Mm -hmm. And you can see that this container weighs 345 grams. Yeah. So we need to put the scales back to zero. So we just press the T here. And so Verena, I need two kilograms of two kilo. food. So if you can okay. put the food into the container. Good, so you can see we only have 175 grams. Yeah. So we need a lot more yeah. food. So you can take a bigger scoop this time. Super. Okay, how much do we have now, Verena? 635 grams. Super. And Paulina, do you want to read it this time? What do we have here? We've got a much larger number this um, time. Yes, 1,110 grams. Good, or one kilo and 110 grams. So, what you don't want to get too much. So how much do we have now? Uh, 1,585, 80. Yeah, I yes. think our, our moving yeah, is making the scales not so accurate. We need a little bit so more. We need just over 400 grams. Okay, so we now have 1.840 grams or one kilogram and 840 grams. So we still need a little bit more. Still need 70 more grams. And we need 45 more grams. <laughs> oh, yeah, perfect. Exactly. We now have two kilos exactly. So let's go and feed those hungry fish then. So viele Fische haben natürlich auch einen großen Hunger und deswegen ist Camilla jetzt schon unterwegs, um mit Verena und Paulina unsere Fische zu füttern. Du solltest wieder ganz genau aufpassen, denn es gibt zwei Fragen zu klären. Erstens, wie alt kann ein solcher Koi im besten Fall werden? Und zweitens, wenn wir die Temperatur im Becken verändern, verändern sich auch die Fische. Was passiert da? Okay, so now it's time to actually feed our fish. And if you look into the tank, you can see that there are lots and lots of fish to feed. There are actually between 10,000 and 15,000 fish wow. just in this one tank. 
These fish are also quite small, mm -hmm. and that's because they're only seven months old. But mm -hmm. they can live on average to between 40 and 50 years old. And it's even been known for some of the fish to live to 80 or 100 years oh. old, which is quite oh. impressive. The temperature of our water in this tank is about 20 degrees. Mm -hmm. But the fish actually grow depending on the temperature of the water. So if we want the fish to grow faster, we can turn up the temperature mm -hmm. until about 25 degrees. So the warmer the water, the faster the fish grow. Mm -hmm. Also, you can see we have lots of different colors yeah. of fish in the tank. And there are actually 130 official different color patterns. I know that my personal favorite, I like the white ones. What about you, Verena? What's your favorite color? I like the orange ones. The orange ones, yeah. and Paulina? The blue ones. The blue ones. Okay, so they're waiting for us to feed them. So Paulina, do you want to give the fish, the fish some food? Yes. Maybe a little bit less, good. Oh, hungry fish, maybe give them some more. Okay. Okay, Farina, do you also want yeah. to try? Ja, wenn du genau zugehört hast, war es ja gar nicht schwer, die zwei Fragen zu beantworten. Die erste Frage war, welches Höchstalter können solche Kois im besten Fall erreichen? Paulina, das weißt du. Ja, sie können ähm, im besten Fall 80 bis 100 Jahre alt werden. Richtig. Camilla hat gesagt, some of the fish live up to 80 or 100 years old. Die zweite Frage war, wenn wir an der Temperatur im Becken etwas verändern, verändert sich auch etwas an den Fischen. Verena, hast du das mitbekommen? Ja, umso höher eben die Temperatur auch ist, umso schneller wachsen die Fische eben auch. Richtig. Camilla hat uns erklärt, if we want them to grow faster, we turn up the temperature. Und für dich gibt es mehr Fragen zum Hörverstehen in unserem Online-Bereich. Okay, so now we are going to actually measure some of the fish. And to do that, I need my net because I'm going to catch some fish and we'll put them here and then we'll measure them. To make the fish come up, we've got some food to attract them with. So, Vivena, if you could throw yeah. some food into the tank for me, please. And then we need to wait until as many fish come to the surface as possible, and then I will catch some of them. So, it sometimes takes a minute or so for the fish to see the food and then to come up. Okay, Vena, maybe some, a little bit more food just yeah. at the front here, because the fish are all at the back of the tank. Okay, and then as quickly as we can. Oh! We've got our first fish. If we just turn the net this way. Yeah, and if you can help me to get yeah. our first fish out, nice and gently, into the water. Okay, so we only have one fish so far, but if we can measure this one. So we need, we use this to measure it, so Paulina, if you can take the fish out. Yep, and Paulina covers the fish its eye, and then it relaxes a little bit. And yes. then, how long is our fish? 28 centimetres. 28 centimetres, yes. super. Then we can put the fish back in and in a minute we shall maybe feed some more and hopefully measure some more fish. Okay, so here comes our second fish. <laughs> okay, so put it in with our other one. And it's, let's also measure the orange one. So you need your measurer and we'll see if it's bigger or smaller than our last fish, which I think was 28 <laughs> centimetres. 
<laughs> oh, it's a fast one, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe it doesn't want to be measured. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. yeah, keep trying. Yeah, super, good. Oh, wow. It's a slippy one. <laughs> Remember, if you put your hand over its eye, it makes it a little calmer. Um, oh, super. 27. 27, yep. so that one's a little bit smaller <laughs> than our other fish. Super. Shall we try for some more? OK, so here comes our third one. <laughs> OK, so let's measure this one. This one looks like it might be a little bit bigger than the last one. <laughs> Let's see if Paulina can catch it. So we, maybe put it a bit lower so she doesn't need yeah. to lift the, yeah. the, the fish so okay. high. Okay. Good. Super, you got a hold of it? Perfect. 28. 28. Also. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's, oh it's, it's got quite a it's long 30. tail. Okay. It's 30, 30, so that's actually our biggest okay. fish so far. Should we go for another one? Okay, so fish number four coming up. Oh, oh in it goes. Okay. Ah, so it's another different colour pattern this time. Oh, looks nice. Yeah, it's pretty colour. Actually looks a little bit smaller as well than all the others. Ah, but it's got a oh, long 29. tail. 29. Yeah, 29 centimetres. Super. I think the fish have gone away from us a little bit so we've had four fish to measure so I think we'll leave the rest of them alone now. Jetzt folgen einige Tipps zu Zahlen und Größen. Als erstes solltest du aufpassen, wenn du Zahlen als Zahlwort schreiben sollst, denn auch wenn manchmal verschiedene Zahlwörter gleich klingen, werden sie doch unterschiedlich geschrieben. Ein Beispiel 14 und 40. Achte darauf, wenn du größere Zahlen sagen sollst, dass nach der 100 immer ein AND folgt. Also zum Beispiel 155. Enthält die große Zahl gar keine hunderter Stelle, setzt du das AND einfach bei der nächsten Stelle an. Also zum Beispiel 2058. Gut aufpassen musst du beim Einsatz von Kommas und Punkten im Englischen, denn Im Englischen werden Kommas und Punkte genau andersherum verwendet als im Deutschen. Bei Preisen und bei Dezimalzahlen schreiben wir im Deutschen ein Komma. Im Englischen wird hier ein Punkt gesetzt. Bei besonders langen Zahlen schreiben wir im Deutschen Punkte, zum Beispiel bei einer Million. Hier wird im Englischen ein Komma gesetzt. Außerdem solltest du aufpassen, wenn du die Ziffern schreibst. Denn im Englischen wird die 1 und auch die 7 anders geschrieben als bei uns. Hey Camilla, we've done a lot of counting today, haven't we? We have, but unfortunately my job isn't finished yet. I've got even more fish to count. Ah, good luck with that. And we'll count on you to do some more exercises online. online.